this is your video idea, so you can start it off. Start it all tight. Whatever. <laughs> all right, you can start it off. You gonna press play? It's already recorded. They got all that. <laughs> hey, it's Cameron. My name isn't Cameron. This is Cameron. And this is Hannah. Okay, that was cute. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to make a video about um, one of the facets or details of our courtship. Yes, and that is the reason why we are waiting till marriage to kiss. I guess I can tell my side of the story first. Mm -hmm. But it's the same story. You go ahead and tell it. You can start. Go ahead, I love when you tell it. You can start. It's the same story. You can you can start. Okay. <laughs> Initially, when I first started my real walk with Christ, you're gonna have me say that a lot. Um, I thought I thought that kissing was okay for my courtship because same. because like that's not a real huge um I guess it's not a huge turn on for me. It's not a trigger. And so I felt like I could be in a regular relationship and kiss and be okay. Um, and so, yeah, I was going to, I was planning on doing that. Is that? <laughs> um, you know, for me, I can't say that it didn't, it wouldn't lead to something because. I mean, it could and it couldn't. For me, it was more of a thing of, you know, I, to me, kissing is just showing affection. It's just, it's really being affectionate, being intimate with the person, you know, just showing your care. And me being a very physical, a very physical person, it's just natural for me to do, um, for me to kiss the person who I'm with or, yeah, who I'm with. I don't just kiss random people, but um, <laughs> kiss the person who I'm with. And you know, just showing my affection that way. But yeah, I remember I, when we was talking. I was in your room, and we was talking. I was like, I don't know if I could ever do that. Like that's yes. just wrong. <laughs> me and it was me and Cameron and our friend Dar. We were sitting in our um, my old dorm, and we were having a conversation about courtships and godly relationships, or whatever. This is before. This is before me and Cameron were together. We were just. You know, friends. we just became friends, exactly. and we we're just talking about courtships or whatever. And um, we we're explaining to him what a courtship was. We're like, yeah, you just don't do this. You have a lot of boundaries. You don't, you know, try not to kiss. And you know, we were talking about our personal things. And my friend Dad was like, I don't want to share a blanket, all this stuff. And Cameron was like, That's dead. Yeah, <laughs> all of it was dead. This is when I was fresh. <laughs> Like I was really fresh and like really get, really getting to know Christ, and so I was at that lukewarm stage, that really annoying stage where one minute you all in your Bible, the next minute you listen to trap music and doing what you want to do, and that's where I was. And man, that was so dead. I can't be with somebody and not kiss him. Exactly, I can't be with somebody <laughs> and not show them affection. Like, <sighs> what? That's dead. Right, and so now the question is, how did we get here? I don't know. <laughs> you wasn't trying to be. I here. really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I really wasn't. I would not lie to you. Yeah. This was not my plan. And the thing is, I think that it, well, I know that it was Jesus. I don't know why he don't want us kissing. Probably because. I can tell you why. I know why. <laughs> No, um, it was just a thing that happened. Like when we first started courting, no, when we first when we first started courting. It was like we were best friends, I guess. And so for me, it was just something that I wasn't used to, you know. Mm. Especially coming from I haven't been in a real relationship for a long time, and I just wasn't used to kissing people no more. <laughs> and so um, this wasn't natural. It wasn't natural. And I really didn't have a desire to do it. Um, just didn't feel right. Um, not that I tried to, but thinking about it would be like, nah, I can't. Nah. I think for me it was the same way, but it wasn't a thing of I can't. It was a thing of that's weird. <laughs> it was like, I could if I really wanted to, but 
that's just kind of weird. And so for me, it was a more thing of I, I didn't even really try. I really wouldn't. And even in the times where it was a, it was a lot of times where I would be about to leave her house. And so I'd be giving her a hug and saying, you know, my goodbyes and all that. And we would be really close. And a couple of times I remember like when I finally when I got home from leaving, I would tell her like we were really close to kissing tonight. Like you were like right there. All it would have took was either one of us leaning in. And it just it felt weird to me. It's like I don't am I supposed to be? Am I not? And I don't know. I just I not that I couldn't if I wanted to, but it was just a difference it's just like kind of weird it's like this is because keep in mind this was somebody like when i met her and you know we started getting to meet each other i had no intentions on doing anything with this girl you know i just wanted to be her friend she was cool and so <laughs> going from there to where it is now is it, 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 it was just still weird at the beginning stage for me to even think of something like that and so yeah that's my side of it I think it's cool, like, me and Cameron, we are very open in our relationship, and so we talk about these things, like, I'm not just going to be silently dealing with, you know, these thoughts about if I had thoughts, well, sometimes I do, but thoughts about, you know, what does he think about kissing, or how come he ain't trying to kiss me, like, I would like, do we kiss? <laughs> or I just, you know, we'll just have the conversation. I think he brought this one up about kissing, but normally mm -hmm. with things, we're good at, you know, talking about everything. Um, yeah. So it's good to talk about everything in your courtship because you need to know everything. Yeah. It was so funny one time when I first started telling my mom, not when I first, when I first told her that we were recording for <laughs> real, she was like, you know, after she got done talking about how, you know, awesome it was and everything, she was like, y'all kiss and i was like my face was like before i said anything and she was like thank you for making that face <laughs> was like praise god yes don't do that <laughs> and I, was, I don't know why i reacted that way but that's really not that you know i can't imagine kissing you or that you know that's a disgusting thought it's just something that we don't yeah we you know it's really something that god you know haven't turned done. our hearts to and I'm glad he did because if I was kissing, <laughs> we don't kiss. Man, it's hard for me. I'm, all right, I'm gonna tell you why I don't do it. For me, it's hard enough because as we started courting and as we started like really, you know, being intimate and open with each other, my attraction to her grew exponentially like tremendously it grew so much and it grew so fast to the fact where um like it was just like a switch was turned on and the light came on i was like where did all this come from <laughs> and so for me um it was hard enough to fight the urge or to fight the thoughts with just being around her let alone anything really intimate like kissing right. So I remember she would tell me at times the hugs that we would have were too long. And Not even too long. They were just like too physical. Yeah. Like even hugging. It was like, that's like kissing with your body. <laughs> <laughs> that junk dangerous too. Yeah, man. It was the same for me. Um, it was just like even the hugs at times would just like be something that you have to just like or like physically put physically just like I right. <laughs> and just walk away because it's very it can be very dangerous so for me if it was kissing like if we were kissing if we were showing that level of intimacy it would be so hard yeah it just makes stuff hard to stop and to keep myself from doing it something that I'm not supposed to be doing yeah. and yeah, if we was kissing, this wouldn't be no purity story. <laughs> it wouldn't be. Uh, it but, wouldn't be no purity story at all. And then also, not that you know, kissing is bad, and that you're going to hell if you kissing your no, courtship. But it even you know, not kissing also helps you know fight against the thoughts that you have too. Kissing just make you feel some type of way, mm -hmm. and then you go you idly 
you know, doing stuff. You go to your room, you take a shower, whatever. You think about how that kiss made you feel. Yeah. And they start thinking about other stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like, keep your mind pure. You can't keep your mind pure. You got people like him walking around trying to kiss people. <laughs> when we say, like, okay, we're waiting until marriage to kiss, it kind of sounds like a religious thing. Like, you know, we're just trying to be so holy and we're not going to. It wasn't a decision that we made so we're trying to get at. It wasn't mm-hmm. something that we said that we weren't going to do. It's something that God led us to. And so it's important to be led by God and it's important to allow God to, you know, instill rules inside of your courtship, during your courtship, you know, so that you can get whatever it is that he wants you to get you know you can't just be one track minded and every time something comes up that you're not really with you want to dip or you're not gonna get with because you something you not want to do you have to really be open because you'll know what god wants to do with y'all and yeah whatever so we're just really open to anything you know when god tell us stop seeing each other it's over when God tells us to, you know, take a break, or stop talking to each other, or if he tell us to, whatever he tells us to do, it's not a thing of, I, I love him so much, I can't let him go. Mm-hmm. You know, this is the person you gave me is your will, not mine. Yeah. So, you know. And so, yeah, we just wanted to be on here and talk to you guys about why we don't kiss. Yeah. You have something else you want to say? Yeah. Um, this is one last thing. Because uh, I know at the beginning of the, of the courtship, I would, like, kiss her hand or kiss her on the forehead because I was like all right it's not the lips it's fine it's not as intimate you know it's not gonna spark anything which it didn't and it wouldn't because it it wasn't in a place of that it was in a place of you know adoration and I really you know this is somebody who I do it who I do really adore and so you know kisses on the forehead is a showing of adoration towards somebody or kisses on the hand and that's what I would do but then I was watching a video by Cornelius Lindsay, and it was a thing. He, he said, that person's not yours yet or something oh, like that. Yeah. And that really stuck with me. And so like, it would ring in my head like when I would be, I would be about to. And I was like, Ugh, I can't do it. <laughs> Ugh, I can't do it. Because she's just, she's just not mine yet. And... I think a lot of things are supposed to wait till marriage, and that's one of them because it's it's just you know, this person's not yours. Um, you know, people try to go well, well. People kissed in the Bible, but they kissed for a different reason. It was like a showing of. It was like saying, "Hey, yeah, kissing it was culture." Yeah, it's culture. Like if you go over to Europe, people kiss, saying, "Hey," and you know, in America, that's not what we do. So. We don't kiss to say hey. Yeah. <laughs> and we I'm kiss not. to say hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, that for me is what really, really nipped all that in the butt. And it was just like, nah. I remember, now I remember freshly in my mind now when we had the conversation of like, should we kiss? Because uh, it was one of the nights when we were. Um, really close to kissing, and like I said, when I got home, I was texting her. I was like, we was like so close. It's like really like right here. And I was like, is that okay? And you know, we both went and asked God and talked to Him, and the answer was no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to be kissing yet. Y'all yeah, no, I'm not. And so that's all I really have to say. But again, this is not something that we do to say that, oh, you know, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how God wants it to be. You know, every situation, everything, especially with courting, it just all comes down to your own conviction with it. Yeah. If you don't feel convicted by kissing, then maybe that's not a sacrifice that y'all supposed to have. Uh Oh, so really, you know, make sure that in all things you you guys just seek God or even if you're not courting yet or whatever you know mm-hmm. seek god on these things and just pray you know ask him is this for me can we kiss or no and that's, childish. that's it it is really it man and that's what it all boils down to that's what it all comes down to and he either say yes or no but in the end at the end the the response or the answer to anything that god says is yes and amen hey so when he tell you something, 
Is it yes and amen? It's like yes, and I agree. And that's it. Ain't no. I got you. I'm gonna do it. Exactly. Ain't no. But da 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 da. da and but we not go this and this and this, and it's not gonna lead to anything because yeah, it don't will. Try to reason with God. It will. You it will. And <laughs> the reason that He tells you things is not just because He doesn't want you to do it. It's okay. for a greater reason. And I know for a fact in the bottom of my heart that the reason why he doesn't want us kissing is one, it would lead to something else that would just kill our whole ministry. And two, just because it gives you something to fight for and to want. You know, if you get everything, if you get everything up front, you ain't gonna fight for it. You just gonna be- That's a word. You need to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a word. You know, you just gonna be going along with where you at, happy where you at, cause you got everything you wanted. And and then you know that we don't just take a step and we straight. You know, you take one chip. Mm -hmm. You can't have just one. You just never satisfy. <laughs> you just keep going yeah. until there's nothing but crumbs in there. And then you still eat that too. What am I talking about? <laughs> nah, that, that, that translates exactly to it. Because, you know, <laughs> imagine kissing as taking one, one chip. You eat that one chip. You going to stop there? All y'all that just said, no, you're lying. You ain't going to stop. <laughs> I know I wouldn't stop. And first it's just a little peck on the cheek. Exactly. Then it's a kiss on the lips. Exactly. And then, then y'all kiss it with tongue in it. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's just best not to have to go through that. And so you know the the reason behind this whole video, we're not telling you not to kiss. Because you know, if God said you could, then hey, that's between you and God. I ain't God. I don't know nothing. I'm just a man. And so if he told you you could, go ahead. But we just tell him why we don't kiss. Yeah, why we don't kiss and why, you know, that intimacy level is something that's saved for when you do eventually get married. And that junk is okay. Like real people do this. Real people do this. So if you try and do it, you know, this is inspiration. We got a fine man and we got me and we're mm. both twenty. You know, we're in college, mm. we're surrounded by <laughs> we mm. surrounded by you know craziness, whatever. My bad, I didn't get past the her part. And you know, <sighs> the <laughs> saved and holy life is tangible. Not it, that we're not, 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 not that we're perfect nor whatever, I you know. But you as that. far as you know, these things, God has graced us to not mess up, and so He can grace y'all too. And it's yeah. possible. And if you out here and you single and you're looking for somebody who will be like that, you know, maybe you're a Christian or you trying to, you want somebody who will be, you know, have the same values. Don't settle for somebody who ain't got it. You know, True. don't settle for somebody you got to teach. Don't kiss me because I want to, you know, True. and then he like, why? Oh, well, how come we can't just, you know, man, why we can't just kiss? <laughs> Like for real though. Yeah, find somebody. It ain't like I'm. It. it ain't like I'm trying to get in your pants. I just want to kiss, shawty. Why we can't kiss? And they make you feel stupid for what you want to do. And you know you're trying to be holy, but he feel like you know. And this don't is. Settle. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, but it. and this is the thing with that. It's like for the world has answers to everything that you have a question for, but it's a false answer. It's not true. It's it's an imitation. It's a substitute for the truth. And because of that, everything that you say, if you don't, if you're not grounded in a word about about it, or if God hasn't spoken to you specifically about it, it's easy to be tricked by people in the world. And what that looks like is exactly what she said. Um, well, we can't kiss because of this, this, and this. And then exactly what I was doing. I was like, why well, we can't kiss? You know, and I'm not trying to sleep with you. I'm not fingering you i'm not doing all this other craziness i'm not touching on you why we can't kiss and then you will feel stupid about it like well maybe we can and that's why being unequally yoked with someone is very dangerous because that person who the person who's lower i'm not preaching you but are. the person who's lower that's will begin to pull you <laughs> down and the things that you were trying to keep will be destroyed because you're keeping company with people who you're not supposed to keep company with. And she's all in my face because this He's is what preaching. she does when I speak. So. Come on, Pastor. Okay. 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 <laughs>
That junk real. <laughs> if you was holy, you would have hit like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Nah, no, for real. You know that's my whole take on that. Yeah. You want to know some more about us? Come back. Follow, subscribe. That's Cameron. And this is Hannah. And we are fighting for the final marriage. Amen. Hey. Well, we love y'all, and you know, y'all can come back. Y'all cannot. I don't care. <laughs> here for y'all i'm doing this because god told me to um you can find a link to like our instagrams in the description or if you got like a website you can find it in the description all that type of stuff yeah we'll give you all the stuff in the description if you got anything and follow up no, i'm not gonna do that you'll be in the description yeah. texting her was like we was like so close it's like we're like right here it's like is that okay